What's going on everybody today? We're gonna be showing you the best seven affordable sneakers out right now We left some links in the description box below for you guys in case you want to go grab any of them enough talking though Let's get right into it all right, so first sneaker on the list, man. You guys have seen me talk about these in a couple recent videos. I really like these. We got the Air Max 90s from the 20th anniversary release. So recently, Nike decided to drop some OG colorways and some non-OG colorways in their 20th anniversary release of the Air Max 90 right here. And when it comes to the colorways that they drop, I really like the ones with the vibrant color accents, such as this vault one, even this purple one right here. I think they also had a teal turquoise that was really dope. But overall, man, the Air Max 90s right here, this is like gotta be the most versatile sneaker on the list. You could rock these with track pants, shorts for the summer, even with no shows, with tube socks, you can rock them with uh, jeans. These have no limitations to what they look good with, in my opinion. And what I really like about them too is you are paying for like that OG vibe, obviously the same color blocking as 20 years ago, but you are not paying a crazy price tag. Right now, these are sitting kind of for like 110 to 120 on websites. Some websites are selling out in them. So if you are looking to get a pair, I would act quickly right now. So like I was saying, man, I really like the colors that they dropped that really pop, all right? So we got this Volt color. This was my favorite sneaker about like, I would say seven years ago. I had like three pairs of these. So I'm super happy that they dropped these again. And then we got the, ooh, my God. <sighs> These right here, the purple in person is insane. I think photos do not do this purple justice, but when I saw these in person, man, the purple with the gray accents, this is a sneaker I definitely would recommend. For a hundred bucks, you cannot go wrong with the colorway right here. There's not a lot of purple sneakers on the market right now, so this is definitely a good option. I would say for 2020, Purple might be one of my favorite colors that I'm gonna be rocking even when it came to that jacket that I was recommending I feel like they should retro more purple stuff One of my favorite SBs back in the day were the purple pigeons But anyways enough about purple man These are my two favorite colorways that dropped in the entire release I definitely recommend them the shape is on point quality is on point and these do not disappoint So shout out to Nike for bringing these back. Let's move on to the second sneaker all right, so this next sneaker, man, I'm super excited about. If you guys have ever felt a regular Chuck Taylor, you guys know that they're super flimsy, cheap feeling. Your foot is basically on the ground itself, all right? And a few years ago, uh, Converse and CDG did a collaboration on a pair of Chucks, and they went bananas. Like, so many guys ended up buying these Chucks, and I think it was because the structure of the sneaker was just a little bit, like, I would say more stable, and, like, I would just more, more, uh, What's that word? What's that word, Gabe? Hefty. Hefty is a good word. Just, you know, feel like a little bit more manlier, not as flimsy as regular Chucks. So what I really like that Converse did is they decided to release the same construction, but you just don't have that huge branding. And these come in at more than half the price, all right? These are only 85 bucks. But if you look at it, man, this midsole right here, it's basically like an encapsulated rubber outsole right here. So if you feel these in person, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In photos, you can't really tell, but trust me, these are a really good alternative to the CDG Chucks or just an elevated version of the $50 Chucks. I really like these, man. I think they're a good everyday sneaker. And when I put them on, even just the comfort of them from the cushioning and just how they feel on the foot is much better than a regular pair. But yeah, they come out in white. They come out with the black and cream, really clean. I recommend these right here. We got the Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star 70s right here. Definitely take a look at these. Moving right along, man. Super excited about these at only a hundred bucks, okay? We got the Nike Blazer Vintage 77s right here. Do not sleep on these. Just like the Chuck Taylors that I showed you, these just have a little bit more construction to the sneaker itself. If you look at right here, man, there's like more fabric around the toe area. They are not as like flimsy as a regular pair of blazers. And what I real, you guys know how I feel about my favorite grail of all time. I'm talking about the Supreme Nike blazers with the uh, snakeskin python, whatever your boa construct, whatever you want to call it. On the Nike swoosh right here, I mean, this is my favorite detail of this sneaker. It looks so clean. I can't even put it into words and the fact that they release something that kind of resembles the Nike Supreme Blazers is really cool Um, also, you know, I hate to always bring this up 
off-white tongue and everything but if you look at it right here it does kind of have the construction of a lot of off-white uh sneakers right here on the tongue it has that like deconstructed you know basically raw material tongue so the details on this sneaker are really nice down to the colors as well like i said only a hundred bucks and there's some really cool aspects of this release right here definitely check these out a really cool sneaker that will look good with some jeans or some cargos all right, so next sneaker, man, super excited about these. I know I've said I'm super excited about every sneaker, but it's the truth. We got the Adidas Continental in the raw white only for 80 bucks. But if you look at all the colorways that dropped from the Yeezy Power Phases, the best one by far, everybody would agree, was the original color that dropped, all right? I'm talking about a little bit off-white with the green. Well... Adidas decided to drop that exact same colorway, but just a different material, but you know, you can't even tell, but they, as, far, as far as the color goes, it's the exact same color as original Yeezy Power Phases, which I thought they would never do, but they ended up doing it. So if you look at those, those are like 250 bucks, but these right here, my friend, 80 bucks you cannot beat that and i've always said the continental shape with some jeans is one of the cleanest silhouettes i wouldn't rock these really with shorts but yeah as far as the colorway goes reminiscing the og power phases the price the color the durability i really like these right here definitely a cool sleeper sneaker sleeper sneaker sleeper sne all right let's move on Woo! all right we're just steamrolling through the list okay let's bring this back to nike we got the Nike Tailwind Force coming in on sale at only 108 bucks. Let's get into the details. So this is a sneaker I would say for strictly more of that, you know, vintage throwback look purpose, okay? You wouldn't rock these with jeans, not really with shorts. I would say the best pairing with these would be some track pants. But if you look at them, man, they really give you that retro look. And you got to look, you are getting a lot of bang for your buck, a lot of air around the sneaker. This is a max air. So you're looking at it from the forefoot all the way to the heel. You're getting a lot of value for your money. I will put these in the same category, kind of like the uh, Air Max 97s, more of the 98s. But these tailwinds are more of like the slept on sneakers. So if you don't want to pay like crazy price points for the hype Air Maxes, I would go with these. The color is insane. I would say if a lot of sneakerheads saw you rock these, they would definitely give you some respect because it is one of those sneakers that is a little bit more unique. Not everybody has it. So I would definitely look into these if you guys are looking for a pair of Air Maxes. Like I said, they are on sale right now for only 108 bucks, which is super cheap for a sneaker like this. Let's move on to the last sneaker. All right, so this next sneaker, man, these are from Steve Madden. These are called the Coastals at only 90 bucks. If you have ever been in Soho, man, you will see, probably I would say, a good 30 to 50% of dudes are rocking the Common Project sneakers. And these are like the best alternative I have seen to the Common Projects. The Common Projects are like, what, 420 bucks? These are 90 and this exact same silhouette. I would say even quality-wise, I felt the uh, Common Projects they're not that far behind. These are really comfortable, actually. So if you're looking for an all-white sneaker to beat up and everything, and you don't want to spend all that money for the Common Projects, definitely take a look at these if you're trying to get that Common Projects look for only 90 bucks. Let's move on to the last sneaker. All right, so last but not least, man, this sneaker right here is crazy. From the Olympic pack from Nike, we got the Air Max 97s. Super, super clean yellow. We just gonna call these the b b bananas all right the bananas let's get into them so we've talked about these on hype talk we all said they were definitely a cop really clean colorway you got a really nice white midsole and what i really like is they did the midsole underneath like a uh, smoky gray so the accents are really nice on the sneaker they also have a nice suede material so a good alternative to the uh leather that you usually see on air max 97s also if you look right here they have like basically a little pull tab on the tongue that represents the olympic rings which is really cool so a nice little switch up i would say are these yellow bananas you're definitely going to stand out from the crowd there's also a few other colorways that drop in the olympic pack as well out of all of them i would say the yellow is my favorite really nice sneaker you know how we are transitioning to springtime well kind of but yeah these will be a nice sneaker for the spring and summertime so the olympic pack air max 90s to wrap up the video make sure you guys look into these all right guys thank you for checking out that video if you guys have not done so please make sure you guys are sub to the channel also on this video hit that like button it really helps us out and that's pretty much it man i would say out of all the sneakers 
my favorite has to be you know i really like the chucks excited to wear those the blazers the nah, nah, nah. these were all good sneakers so definitely check out that list that we left in the description box and that's pretty much it thank you guys for the support and until next time i'm out peace